I like Tian Shen Han, and I bet a lot of you guys do too. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about what exactly happened to Tian in Dragon Ball Super, because our boy Tian has been having a rough old time. Hello guys, what's up? It's Alexis here. I am the person who voices Android 18 and Mizore on my channel. And today I'm going to be doing this video as me. So I hope you enjoy that. I thought I'd try something different. And yeah, I wanted to do a discussion and just kind of chill out and talk about Dragon Ball. So today's topic is about Tien Shinhan and how basically since kind of Dragon Ball Super started and a little bit before, Tien has kind of been screwed over a lot by... I wouldn't just say Toriyama, because I think Toriyama does like Tien, but he doesn't really make all the decisions anymore. But basically, I guess Toei must not like Tien, and I'm going to explain why. I just thought I'd ask, if you enjoy this video by the end of it, make sure to hit the like button, so I know you guys enjoy it. And it also helps the channel grow, so if you want to see more videos from me, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe and hit the bell, and you know, you get notifications for whenever I upload. Anyways, let's get into this topic. So Tien Shenhan is one of the human characters in Dragon Ball. He is pretty darn powerful in the original Dragon Ball, and he even defeats Goku in battle once in the original series. He also kind of helps Goku defeat King Piccolo, so he's a big player in that series, and he gets a lot of love, which I really like personally. He also had a funny kind of romantic subplot with Launch, with a will they won't they situation where they obviously like each other but they just haven't really done much about it but then something that kind of screws Tien's character over is that Akira Toyama completely forgot about Launch's existence when he started Dragon Ball Z in the manga so she just vanished and she's never came back since apart from a couple of cameos in the anime of Dragon Ball Z so that really sucks because Launch is one of my favorite characters and I really wanted to come back someday but this kind of isn't the only thing that messed up Tien but Basically, in Z, he had a decent time near the beginning, even though he got killed. Like, at least he got some screen time and was pretty cool in, his, in like, his fight scenes. And, obviously, he was with King Kai, so he got to do a bit of training, powered up a little bit. But then, after the Frieza saga and the Saiyan saga, the Android saga was a thing. And Tien was pretty much kind of weak, like all the other humans for the most part. So, like... Well, he's not weak. It's more a case of everyone else is just ridiculously strong. The only real cool thing Tien got to do in Z after that is basically he held Cell back from absorbing 18 by using the Tri-Beam multiple times, which nearly killed him. But And that was a really cool scene. I really love the way they at least gave him an extra moment to shine, even though he couldn't defeat Cell, which was pretty obvious. But at least... Oh yeah, he fought the Cell Juniors as well. But it's not really... An amazing thing but at least he's pretty relevant but then dragon ball super happens and this is where tien like completely falls off the rails if you guys weren't paying attention i'm pretty much uh, unless i forget something this is pretty much the only things that happen to tien it's basically resurrection f happens in the anime and this is like the only time tien really gets to do anything good like he beats up load the freezer soldiers he struggles a bit like the rest of everyone does because there's so many soldiers but he uses his tri-beam and he beats a load of them up which is cool but then we pretty much don't see tien for about 40 episodes or something I, I don't really remember everything in super but tien is pretty much non-existent for a long time because it's all about vegeta and goku and stuff which isn't a bad thing but when tien does come back he doesn't really get any time to shine because he gets his own like episode to be recruited into the universe 7 team for the tournament of power but then unlike the other characters where they got time to shine tien has a cool martial arts school he's a cool teacher but then once yoden the character in his episode the witch girl takes control of master roshi you expect tien to be the one to sort him out but Tien, I believe Tien tries to tri-beam him and Roshi just kind of slaps him out the way, hits him a few times. Tien gets overwhelmed and then Goku has to basically beat Roshi for him, which is pretty embarrassing because Krillin had a good episode where um he basically got over his fear and then he was a badass and fought Goku. And, well, Krillin had more than one episode, but still. Tien just got completely kind of nerfed and 
didn't get to do anything cool. And then in the Tournament of Power, he essentially, I think he eliminated like one other person before he got eliminated, which compared to all the other characters who knocked down multiple people was a little ridiculous. And if he did knock any other pe people out, I'm not exactly sure I remember because he just didn't really stand out. And I thought his elimination was cool, but it was literally the only thing Tien really did in the whole like universal Tournament of Power arc. And the only other thing he did was give Energy to Goku's spirit bomb, which everyone else did, so apart from Vegeta. So it's a little ridiculous when you think about it, because Tien got so much love in the original, and I feel like Japan probably doesn't like Tien as much as they used to, maybe. Or the Toei just doesn't really like Tien that much, because even... Oh yeah, there's something else I need to mention is, he also is with... He tags teams with Goku when Gohan trains again and him and Piccolo, Goku and Tien have like a tag match. But the only thing he does is he attempts to hit Gohan with a tri-beam and then Gohan's like, nope, and smashes him into the ground. I think that clip of Gohan like saying, oh no you don't, and hitting Tien into the ground is pretty much Tien's time in Super as an, in a nutshell. And I'm probably going to play that clip like in the background and you'll know what I mean. But... For Tien fans, it's really tough, Super, because even Piccolo, he wasn't didn't get to do loads of cool stuff, but he did have some cool moments. Unlike Tien, where he kind of, whenever he was going to do a tri-beam, he either, he either didn't do anything, or he got slapped and wasn't able to do it. And then, basically, he does nothing in the Tournament of Power, so I just feel like someone higher up really doesn't like Tien. And... I think that's the only reason I'm really pointing this out, and I think a couple of other people online have pointed out, is that Tien was such, like, an awesome character. He's one of the few characters who have actually defeated Goku in battle as well. And I know the original Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Super, the power scaling is, like, so much different, but I just feel bad that Tien didn't get any, like, little moments to shine. And he was barely with Chiaotzu either, so it was just weird. And... It's just a shame. I was expecting him to get some cool moments in the Tournament of Power to show off his kind of skills because there could be a really cool thing like with Roshi where he's, he wouldn't be the most powerful but because he has so many cool techniques and skills he'd be able to like outsmart a lot of the other universe fighters and knock a few more people out but they just didn't seem to really care and they basically threw him under the bus in my opinion. So I want to know what you guys think about this. Like I personally think they really downplayed our boy Tien and I hope at least at some point if Super starts up again they'll at least have him and launch hook up or something to kind of make up for it to give him some sort of like happiness in the series and a nice moment because our boy's just not getting it you know and i feel really bad for tian but anyway make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video subscribe and hit the bell like i said earlier so you get notifications for whenever i upload videos if you like um me not being 18 or something in discussion videos i'd really appreciate any feedback because i actually like being myself and if you guys like it that's awesome I have a link to my Discord in the description, and also there's a link to my Patreon if you really want to help the channel going, because I'm not monetized with ad revenue. If you want to donate to my Patreon, that would really mean a lot to me, and I'm actually planning on um, making some like perks for the Patreon so that um, you guys would have more of an incentive. Like, I might start, if I get a couple of Patreons, I might start making exclusive videos, like a video a month to begin with or something, on the Patreon, so there's like a little bit more incentive. So if you guys want to be generous and support me, I'd really appreciate it. And also, yeah, I might make some perks or something. But anyway, um, comment down below what you think. And also, other things you want me to discuss in Dragon Ball or other anime. But obviously, Dragon Ball is the main focus of my channel. So other Dragon Ball topics. And also, if you have any questions, because I know quite a bit about the series, I could explain like little weird things you don't know about the series. And just, I don't know. <laughs> it's whatever you guys really want, I guess. But anyway... I'll quit rambling. This has been Alexis slash Queen18 and I hope you have a lovely day. See you soon guys. Bye! Oh, we feel so bad for you, Tien. Oh, we feel so bad for you, Tien. You got absolutely messed up. Why don't they love you? I don't know why I'm singing, but if you made it this far, this is your reward for making it this far. Anyway, I love you guys. Bye.